What's happening guys and welcome to the Greed Feed. Now today I have an unboxing for you guys. We have the November Lootware. Those of you that don't know what Lootware is, it's pretty much a monthly subscription uh, from Loot Crate themselves. So what it is, is uh, you can get all kinds of different things. You can get loot socks, uh, loot tees, loot wearables, uh, loot for her, and they've just actually introduced underwear as well. So you have numerous different options with uh, the subscription guys, you can either just order them separately and have them come, or they do have like a bundle uh, that you can get a few different bundles. So the bundle that I have is loot socks and loot wearables. So you get two pairs of socks and what they call a wearable, which is usually just like a t-shirt or a, a ho hoodie or something like that. Um, and I think it's around 35 Australian dollars I think I pay for it. So definitely worth the money if you're into that kind of subscription based thing and just getting a randomized uh, t-shirt and socks or something like that. Uh, if you guys want to have a look at what Loot Crate have to offer, I will put my link down in the description for you guys. So let's get into it. So they have this cool little Pac-Man tab on the back. You tear. So November's theme for Loot Crate is magical. So it includes franchises from memory like Fantastic Beasts, Harry Potter, Doctor Strange, a few other kind of things like that. So obviously it does kind of differ between their boxes, but they all usually have like a main theme. Um, so let's get into this one, guys, and see what they have. So the first item we have, guys, is a Lootware exclusive. So it's a BioWorld product, uh, Harry Potter Crew Socks. So a nice little design on them there. They're quite... <laughs> I don't know what you call them, like quite heavy duty kind of socks. Um, really nice feel to them. And of course they've got all these little cool caricatures. So we've got Hermione and Ron and Harry on their brooms. We've got Harry's glasses, Hedwig, Dobby, the lightning bolt for Harry's scar, some more Hedwig, McGonagall's hat, a few other things. So really cool. Now, me personally, I love getting the socks in these things. It's really hard to find good quality, I guess, pop culture socks. Um, not many places kind of sell them, and if they do, they're always, like, super expensive, like $15, $20 a pair. So, I love getting two pairs of socks in this deal. I think it is absolutely awesome, and they're always good quality. And the other pair of socks we have are another BioWare Lootware Exclusive Crew Sock. And so they're Doctor Strange. So there's your design on them. Similar kind of feel and, uh, and size as the Harry Potter ones. Now I'm not too familiar with Doctor Strange. I haven't seen the movie yet. I really do need to go see it. Um, so I'm not really familiar with like Doctor Strange and his world and everything. So I have no idea exactly what this thing is. I presume it, like, it looks like an Infinity Stone to be honest. So it... It might be that, I don't know, I'll have to go see the movie. Last but not least guys, we have the wearable. Oh, I like this already. This is cool. I really like this. I, I kind of half already know what the design is and I still like it. So like I said, I always get loot wearable. It's usually a t-shirt, um, but it not always is. So these are Harry Potter. So they've got all the, I don't know how well you guys can see that, but they've got all the uh, house emblems. So we've got Slytherin, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, and Gryffindor. And they actually are like bedpans. So they're really cool. They're really, really nice lightweight as well, which is awesome. I live in Brisbane, Australia, and it's really hot. It's summer here at the moment. Um, and even our winters barely get cold. So, nice lightweight pajama bottom is just what I need. As always guys, we get the card. So yep, this month's uh, theme was magical. So always, they always give you like this little card that shows you all the items that you could have gotten. So I'm kind of glad I chose what I got looking at the things uh, that are on here. So for Luke Tees, they have a Doctor Strange Ugly Holiday Tee. So they did one of these I think it was, it was around this time last year actually, I think it was December, um, 
they did a NASA one that I actually have uh, from their actual Loot Crate box themselves. I wasn't a big fan of the design. It's kind of like just like a bed t-shirt because it's kind of, I don't know, it's weird. Like I, I, I get the idea of them, but I don't think they're the best thing ever. Uh, the loot for her was a Kingdom Hearts icon scarf. Loot wearables, the ones that I got were the Harry Potter crest logo pants. So it's weird that they don't say bed pants because I would not see myself wearing those out in public. Um, loot socks, of course we have the Harry Potter mascot socks, which we have, and the Doctor Strange Eye of Agamotto. I don't know how to say that. Ag Agamotto. I have Agamotto. That'll, that'll be uh, interesting to see what that is. It does, it looks like, I know there is an Affinity Stone in the Doctor Strange movie because it's the last one that they need before they do uh, Infinity War. So that might be it. I don't know. I'll have to see. Let me know in the comments if you guys know, guys. I don't care about spoilers, to be honest. And loot underwear were the Lemon Grab Adventure Time underwear. So I'm not really sure how well they're going to do with their underwear. Um, I would never get underwear in a subscription pack because underwear is one of the things you need to be like the most comfortable thing ever. So I'm really interested to actually see what their quality in that is. So that was Lootware for November, guys. Let me know down in the comments. Did you guys grab Lootware? Are you thinking about grabbing some? Did you like the items that came in this month's Lootware? I think Magical was a pretty good theme. Um, I'm a big Harry Potter fan, big Fantastic Beasts fan. I'm actually going to see Fantastic Beasts on the weekend, so I will be doing a uh, spoiler-free review for you guys on the channel. So stay tuned for that one. If you liked this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. I greatly appreciate any support you guys give me. And as always, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe for more Geek and Gamer content. And that's all from me today, guys. I will catch you guys next time.